All right, guys, come on in. Let's see what happens in today's video. We truly hope that you enjoyed seeing our city, its history, and its culture through the carriage ride. Ah, but first, a little bit of foot pampering. See it? Remember it. It appears again in the video. All right, guys. Emil Gypsy Heart here, and we are going to take on a buggy ride. So I hope you enjoy. So, folks in the back in the caboose, this is Jackson Square. On that great pastel, this is thirty thousand pound of uh, thirty thousand pound. Yeah, a bronze statue, Mr. Andrew Jackson. He was the hero of the Battle of New Orleans. In that battle, we kicked 2,000 British butts. Only seven Americans died. That gorgeous church that looks like a castle behind Mr. Jackson is the beloved St. Louis Cathedral. It is the oldest active cathedral of any religion in the United States today. I didn't now know that. until 5 o'clock, if you want to take a free tour inside, they have gorgeous stained glass windows. They tell you the story of King Louis the Ninth Prince. He, all right, honey. He was the only French king made a saint by the Catholic Church. They have 15 chapel like frescoes on the ceiling, and it's exquisite. This church became a minor basilica in 1987 when Pope John Paul II sent mass inside its door. Mardi Gras parade crowds, thousands and thousands of folks. Peter, moving out, baby boy. Step, pretty girl. Step. No. No. Folks, if you didn't know it, we are located on the third largest river in all this world. Our Mississippi comes right after the Amazon and the Congo River Saline. It starts at Lake Itasca in Minnesota, travels 2,341 miles throughout the United States to get down to New Orleans. 50% of the rivers in this country drain into the Mississippi. That's what gives it its power and force. Now, got the little uh, Jackson Brewery to your left. Today it is a shopping mall. They opened up in 1891. They were known for brewing the worst damn beer in the history of Louisiana. Now I say it like that because they actually use unfiltered Mississippi River water Ew. to make that beer. Folks, that beer was so god awful bad. At one point it sold for 64 cents. A six pack. Now, in 1974, undercover insurance agents checking for unsafe brewing practices caught some of the brewers dipping at the brew while they were brewing it. That's what started big labor disputes in the company. And one morning before work, the workers clogged all the drains on both sides of the barrier and then they set out to batch brew in the history of the world. They put all little sorts of additives in the beer, if you know what I'm talking about. When they got done, they opened up the doors, dumped the bags onto the table street. We had eight standing inches of beer right here. It made the front page of the Times pick a new newspaper. Mr. Jack, when he walked into work, saw the catastrophe, he fired the entire company right there and then on the spot. So why we say that was the end of a bad brewery, but the beginning of a good shopping mall. <laughs> now folks, when we go down the next spot, we're going to look at everything that's placed on the riverfront. First thing you're going to see on the left is the lighthouse. That's the ticket office for the steamboat Natchez. In the daytime. The boat takes to Wake Miles Down River to where the Battle of New Orleans is brought. <coughs> 7 o'clock at night, they do five courses of Creole cuisine with Dixie Land Jazz to dance to. You're also going to see a wall at the back of the parking lot. That is a real flood gate. Now, the land that I'm driving you on is 10 feet above sea level. 
we have never had flooding in the French Quarter in the history of New Orleans. But the other 80% in the city can be as low as 10 to 25 feet below sea level. And that is exactly why you saw people waiting, swimming, and climbing up their houses during Hurricane Katrina. Mississippi River and the Rocky Mountains, 16 states in all, 
They double the size of the United States, so we're not. Think about the white pillars. See the cannon guns way high up in the trend of that building. That was the arsenal where the French and Spanish army kept all their weapons and ammunition. Pirate Sally to your right. Real life pirates sold slaves and contraband there. Y'all check out the Mardi Gras balcony with all the skeletons to your right. That Mardi Gras time, they just never took it down. Second floor balcony apartment above the flirty girl sign. That's where Tennessee Williams lived when he wrote the play Streetcar Named Desire in 1947. Whatever your heart can desire, Damn. you will find on Royal Street. Folks, to your left, the old coffee pot restaurant. In the morning, they make omelets the size of an earth football. They were just filmed for diners, drive throughs and dives by Pierre. He liked three of the recipes so much, he put them in his latest cookbook. World famous Pat O'Brien, so on your left, inventor of the hurricane race, and doing piano shows seven days a week. Nice casual courtyard restaurant in the back with a flaming brandy fountain. Preservation on to your left, that is the club where Harry Connick Jr. had his first gig at eight years old playing the piano. For our traditional jazz shows every evening, the times are. Uh, actually, there's five shows. I'm sorry, sir. Five, six, eight, nine, and ten. That will be the best traditional jazz show you'll see in the city. Now we're turning on to Bourbon Street. Oof, Bourbon oof. Street was not named for alcohol, folks. It was named for the royal family of France, the Bourbons. Catch me out to your left. You'll be karaoke bar in the French Quarter. Wow. You pay four bucks for a beer. Your drunk people seem really, really, really bad. <laughs> now I'm not keen about the bad. <laughs> on your right hand corner, the famous Johnny White. Now only businesses stay open before, during, and after Hurricane Katrina. Then the garden behind St. Louis Cathedral, we call that Father Antoine Garden, named for the famous priest that healed people during the yellow fever epidemic. It's also the same spot where they fought duels by pistol or sword in the 1800s. Fritz Hall's European Jazz Pub. They play bootleg jazz from the Prohibition era. Like jazz has sassier lyrics and a more upbeat tempo than Dixieland. Then folks look through the doors of Marie Laveau's house of voodoo. That's Mr. Phillips. He'll give you a tarot card reading if you like. Now um, Marie Laveau was an herbalist, midwife, and nurse. Back when they had the yellow fever epidemics in this city, they stayed behind a few people when the doctors got scared and ran from town. Look up to your left is the big, beautiful wraparound balcony. That pattern is the acorn and the oak leaf. Now, to make a design like this, a blacksmith pre carves the mold, pours out liquid iron into the mold, lets it cool down, and pops it out. It's intricate, delicate, and lacy looking. Now, we also have wrought iron, which is the gate inside the doorway coming up with the building with all the ferns. It's plainer and more geometric. Blacksmith heats up a poker and tongs, then shapes and twists iron rods to the pattern in his head. For 50 hours, a man labored to make that gate. Well, Y'all see this tall, skinny building right behind the cottage? I live in one of those. In the 1700s and 1800s, the top floor would have been your slave or servant's quarter. The bottom floor would be the kitchen. With our heat and humidity, we would never build that kitchen into the main house. Too sweltering and very dangerous because of the lady squad gives birth. Too easy for them to catch on fire when they turn around near a hearth or a fireplace. Now folks, have you seen the movie Gone with the Wind? Yep. At the beginning of the movie, they go to a barbecue. 
as well as the plantation. There you see a beautiful double staircase. Now, when they would have a baller party back in the day, one side of the stairs would be for the single ladies to go up, the other side for the single gentlemen. Because if a young man so much as caught that glimpse of a bare ankle or higher underneath those little white petticoats, that much be friends with the end of his single life. Instagram to marriage in the very strict Catholic household of Louisiana. Folks, on your left corner, second oldest building in New Orleans, built in 1720, 50 years before we were a country. It's called Jean Lafitte's Blacksmith Shop. Now in the evening, it's a wonderful piano bar. The only electricity is in the bathroom. It's only lit by candlelight. The man in the back at the piano plays anything you like to hear from Billy Joel to Cole Porter to Louis Armstrong. Now they say that Jean and Pierre Lafitte, a most famous pirate, were approached there by the British before the famous Battle of New Orleans. Now the British thought, oh hell, they're pirates. They'll do anything to make money. So they wanted the Lafitte to sell them their ammunition and maps. The Lafitte would not do it. They were loyal to the Americans. They snuck off to ride on the British. They gave the United States military free ammunition and they fought on American side. And that is why Andrew Jackson went down in the history books saying he couldn't have won the battle in New Orleans without their help. Y'all, there's about 20 different angels hidden up in the plants and the flowers of that balcony if you want to take a picture. And there's a gorgeous postcard view when I turn the corner. All the old balcony buildings leaning up to the skyscrapers. You don't find a view like this in too many American cities anymore. Nice the contrast between the old and the new. Now folks, that yellow building to your right, that used to be the first United States District Court. Andrew Jackson was fined $1,000 for lifting off to Judge Xavier Hall here. The Creole loved him so much for keeping the British out of the city during that important battle. They raised that $1,000, gave him back every penny as a point of honor. Now folks, I'm gonna stop in front of the Cornstalk Fence Hotel, take all the pictures you like. The fence is a full field of corn. Corn is at the top, punkies at the bottom and pillars, morning glory flowers trailing up and down. Inside, you find, oh, four poster canopy beds, marble fireplaces, black crystal chandeliers from Paris, France. Rooms here start at $120, and the balcony suites are at 200 bucks. Now, they always like to tell the tourists a bullshit fairy tale about France. They say Robert Ogden bought it for Antoinette Vimonte while they were engaged because she sold it for her daddy's corn farm in Iowa. To make her feel more comfortable and at home, he wanted her to see her very own cornfield from the bedroom window every morning. Now that's a sweet romantic story. It's also a bunch of made up malarkey. Antoinette grew up right here in the good old French Quarter. And being a city girl mm -hmm. folk, she wanted to know what a cornfield looked like to save her life. The real reason that fence with the love token was simply the price. 28 separate pairs of cast iron corn stalks shipped 2,123 miles down the Mississippi River to Wall. The shipping, handling, and assembly of that fence alone, via three times the fence's original price, made her the envy of all the desperate housewives in the French Quarter. <laughs> Check out Bourbon French Perfume. They're the oldest perfumery in the city. They predate the Civil War, 1843. Now, what I love about them, if you don't have a lot of money, between seven and ten dollars, we'll get you a bottle, excuse me, thank you ma'am, of cologne for the ladies, or for the gentlemen, they make 40 original scents of their own. 
But if you want a one of a kind, that we made before it's sent for you, give them $85. They'll take a swab of the body chemistry from your wrist and make you an original no one else in the world will ever wear. Okay, you have the masquerade. Every type of mask from leather to feather, paper mache to silk. Some of those are wearable masks. Some of them are just artwork for your display, display case. Then look to your left, to the gates of the Plaza Arms Hotel. That was the very first school in Louisiana, started in 1725 by the Capuchin monks to the boys. The girls did not get their first school until five years later when the Ursuline nuns were sent from France by the <coughs> Louis. building on your right, this one's called the Presbyterian. It was originally built to house the priest that's been there at St. Louis Cathedral. Now today, those priests would roll over in their grave if they knew it was the Mardi Gras Museum. <laughs> now Mardi Gras started in Europe before the Middle Ages, came to the United States, it was first celebrated in Mobile, Alabama. We just made it bigger, better, prettier, and funner in all the world. Now, if you want to read up and learn more about the folklore, legends, history, or ghost stories of all New Orleans, we've got the library bookshelf on your left. They also have incredible photography books with pictures of the River Road Plantation, Garden District Mansions, and our French Quarter Home. Now, if y'all see this top scene building at the back of the townhouse, before I said top floor was my quarter, bottom floor was the kitchen. When the French, being the French, would also use that back building as the garçonier or bachelor's quarters. When a young man would turn 16, his dad would give him the key to that back building. And it would be his very first taste of freedom. Usually, it would be his only taste of freedom because both young men and women in the Creole culture were usually married off by the time that they were 18 and arranged marriages. Now, a Creole honeymoon, after the wedding feast, they would take the bride and groom back to the home of the groom's parents, lock you in a two-room suite for seven days, and bring you all your meals on tray. As soon as you would grab the food, they would lock you back in so you would get busy at making babies. Now, of course, that's paradise when you're in love. But could you imagine if you did not know the person, did not like the person, heaven forbid, if you don't like me, the person, it would be total hell. So, if you want to turn back and look down to the end of the street, we like to call her Joni on the Pony. Given to us as a gift from France, she was solid silver when they hauled her off the boat. She sat on Canal Street for several years. Now along came Harris Casino Corporation. They wanted that land to build a new casino on, so they bribed City Hall to move her. They took one night's earnings from their slot machine in their Las Vegas casino, had her painted 24 karat and of course, the rest is history. areas and we need to have our table clean. Hey hi. 
And we got the Sam Sam. Hi, Sam Sam. Say, say that mule, that mule scared me. They use mules because they can take our heat and uh, they are easier to train and better behaved than a donkey. A horse cannot handle the heat like a mule can, uh, like a mule can. It's just a little hot. Um, the weather apps is 90, so and there's a lot of black top and concrete around us, so it reflects the heat back up. So it's a little warm. Can you tell? Bon appetit. Shit. Them some good dad them ours. Um, when I was a little girl, we used to come here with my grandfather in order to uh, just have some fun before he really got sick from brain damage. Um, he used to pick up one of his beignets and he used to blow the sugar at us as kids. It was just we got we sticky but funny. There are two of these toy soldiers standing guarding the toy store doors. This was pointed out on our carriage tour. Originally, this was a carriage entrance to the courtyard in the center. I have muted the volume of this particular clip to avoid a copyright strike. This is Tropical Isle, home of the hand grenade. And you will see what a hand grenade is in a moment. This, my friends, this is a hand grenade. What's in a hand grenade? No one truly knows. I do know that it has melon liqueur and sour mash, but that's about all I know, and they do not give out the recipe. You can have it one of two ways, over ice or blended. I prefer blended. The container it's in is called a yard dog, and they put a tiny plastic hand grenade inside. If you value your stomach, you won't eat at a lucky dog stand. They are notoriously nasty. But if you got a brave stomach, go ahead. That's a cop car. Ready? Got him. Who knows the old song by Charlie Pride called Kalaja? Me and Mademoiselle and Monsieur Pirate discussing not trading my dog for a picture. This is one of the New Orleans precincts now. It used to be a courthouse. Does anyone know what this is? Post it down below. I love the architecture of this building. It is the backside of the police precinct. This is the Bienville Monument that the tour guide mentioned. You'd have thought he did all the walking today. He's so tired. This section of this alligator display was for the 1984 New Orleans hosted World's Fair. High today in New Orleans, 92. High today in Centralia, Washington, 62. I'm coming, Washington. I'm coming. The hardest part about leaving is having to say goodbye. Here's a little bit of land yap. When was the last time 
you went through an automated car wash. So I decided to video it and stick it at the end of the video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We hope that you enjoyed seeing a little bit of our town. More videos to come, so you know what to do. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring the bell so you know, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys.